Yeah, off the back of uh, the Women's World Cup last year, there was a number of reviews done that, uh, that has laid the foundations for a women's strategy. And um, you know, that encompasses both sevens and fifteens rugby. Um, the sevens program now is well established. Um, there's a number of players that, uh, that, that participate both in the World Series and in the women's 15s. Um, those players are uh, players like Eve Higgins, a young player coming through, um, uh, Kim Flood, uh, Louise Galvin, players that are playing both versions of the game. Um, they've benefited enormously from their experience in the sevens program. Um, the, the Sevens program this year has continued to develop. Uh, they've had uh, their best finish in a tournament in Canada, finishing sixth. They've beaten Canada and Russia for the first time in, in three years. So there's some, uh, there's some really uh, positive um, advancements with that program. Um, the Women's 15s program, we will be announcing uh, two fixtures in November uh, for, uh, for the Women's program, uh, which will lead into their preparation for uh, the Six Nations come February and March. Um, Adam Griggs has started as, uh, as the permanent head coach of the women's program. Um, so there's been a lot of things that have, uh, that have been put in place since uh, the World Cup last, uh, last September. And when will we see this sort of overall review plan coming through? Well, it'll be released in September when the overall IRFU strategy is released. Um, the, uh, the women's game, most of the emphasis is going to be on improving the pathways, the competitions and the coaching resources involved around the women's game. Um, if we can uh, work closely with uh, Scott Walker and the domestic game, then uh, I think that that will go a long way to increasing the participation numbers of the women's game, which will help the high performance end of the game no end because uh, we'll be have bigger numbers and, uh, and broader competition uh, to choose from, which, uh, which will then flow into the performance element of uh, women's 15s and 7s. There was also obviously this offer of a, a, a potential test series for the women's 15s in Australia. Um, the RFU declined that. Can you tell us the reasons behind that? Yeah, well, the, uh, the, the opportunity that was presented to us was uh, really to suit the Australian requirements. Um, they have a series coming up against New Zealand and they're looking for some warm-up games. Um, for us, uh, we need to do what's best for Irish rugby. We've obviously got a number of our girls uh, busy preparing for a World Cup in San Francisco uh, next month. Uh, and uh, you know, they wouldn't be available for a, a tour down here. Um, we've got the games in November that I referred to, which is in line with our plan for our preparation for the Six Nations. Um, so, you know, we, we, need to, we need to be looking at our resources and our finances carefully when we make our decisions. And uh, we need to do what's best for Irish rugby, not what's best for Australian rugby. And uh, that decision was made along those, uh, those lines. So, David, in practical terms, what can the RFU High Performance Unit do to help develop the, the structures around women's rugby? Well, I think we can work with the domestic game to, uh, to make sure that uh, appropriate pathways are built for young girls to be able to come into the game uh, and, uh, because you know, it's about having a broader base and uh, we can uh, ensure that that works by making sure that the competition structures are better than what they are currently. Um, we can make sure that the quality of coaching received uh, down in the grassroots end of the game is of a higher quality than what it currently is. Um, we can use the game of sevens rugby as an introductory tool to uh, open the game up uh, to, uh, to more girls, to have an avenue then to cross over into 15s rugby as well. Uh, all of these things can be done by using some of the expertise that sits in the performance part of the game and working with the domestic game to be able to, uh, uh, I suppose, give young girls um, a, a better opportunity and a better experience than what uh, currently exists in the game for them.